Hey everyone, Poindexter here. We carved a hole in the Luftwaffe's defenses last week, and this week we're going to take advantage of it. So, let's get started. We receive our 15 SO points for the week, plus the 8 we carry over from last week, for a total of 23. But we remove 3 points because of the remaining U-boat, for a final total of 20. Once again, we're going to be flying 2 missions this week. Our first one should be fairly easy, as we're going to go back to Florence, Belgium, to finish off Airfield 14. We replace the heavy damage marker with the equivalent numbered marker, which is a 10. Since we need two points of damage to destroy the field, we're only going to take two bomber groups, the 93rd and the 305th. The reason why is that these two groups only need two more experience points to be promoted to average. Destroying this airfield will give them those two points. Since this raid is in Hex 13, We'll take the 4th Fighter Group, just in case the Germans decide to make an appearance. We'll arm both groups with M30s. We'll place our mission markers and our group counters. We roll for the Luftwaffe response, and we roll a 10, modify it to 8, which is a high response, the first one of this campaign. The Luftwaffe has gotten tired of us beating them down and they're going to come after our small group with a vengeance this week. A high result means that German squadrons adjacent to our group's location will be able to attack us. We're going to be hit by German fighters every step of the way to the target. Our groups take off and form up over England. For the event card, we draw Bomb Jettison. One of our bombers will have to jettison a bomb, and we'll choose the 93rd group for this unlucky draw. Our groups cross the French coast, and three German squadrons rise to meet us. We draw a No Bandit, an FW-190, and a BF-110. Since these squadrons were activated adjacent to our group's location and not in the same hex as our group, we use the numbers listed in the white box to denote how many attacks these squadrons will make against our groups. The 190 will attack for one turn and the 110 for two turns. The no bandit is removed and our Spitfire escort will go up against the two bandits since there are only two bandits to choose from. We'll have to play Anderson's Out of the Sun tactic for the first attack turn. The 4th Fighter Group will attack the 190 first with a plus 2 air-to-air -air modifier, a plus 3 modifier for the Out of the Sun, and a minus 1 for the 190's positive durability rating for a final plus 4 modifier. The Spitfires dive in and just miss on a roll of 5, modified to 9. The 190 bandit fires away and hits on an 8, causing 2 points of damage to the 4th. The Spitfires will now attack the 110 bandit, still using the out of the sun tactic. The modifiers are plus 2 air to air, plus 3 for the out of the sun, and we add 1 for the BF 110's negative durability rating, for a final total of plus 6. The Spitfires fire away, and the dice are not with us as we roll a 3, modified to 9, a miss. The 110, most likely stunned at his good fortune, fires at the 4th fighter and misses on a roll of 4. 
The 190 is allowed one round of combat because of the one displayed in the white box, and the bandit breaks off and heads for home. The 110, with a two displayed in the box, will have one more round against our Spitfires. The out of the sun tactic can no longer be used, and we revert to the standard combat rules. The Spitfires have a slow attack rating, so the bandit will attack first. The 110 fires away, and just misses on a roll of six. The Spitfires will now attack with an overall plus six fire. And the roll is a nine, more than enough to finally destroy the 110. The fourth fighter group gains an experience point, and we move the bandit's disrupted counter to one. The squadron counters are flipped to their rearming side, with the number three at the top. These bandits had to fly further to engage our groups, so it will take them a little longer to refuel and rearm. Our groups continue on and enter the target area. Three more Luftwaffe squadrons are activated. We draw two no bandit counters and one 88 mm flat gun. The no bandit counters are removed. The 88 mm flat gun can only attack bomber groups and cannot be attacked by our fighter group. To determine which bomber group will be attacked, we roll one die and refer to the box just behind the last bomber in the group. We roll a six and the 88 will attack the 93rd group for one turn. The 88 fires and hits on a 7, causing one point of damage to the 93rd. And the 88 is returned to the Bandit's Cup. The three squadrons are flipped to their rearming side, with the number 3 at the top. And the three squadrons in hexes 9 and 10 are rotated to 2. Our Spitfire escort reaches its range limit and turns for home. Our two bomber groups began their bomb runs, but first they must weather the flak over the target. We roll for flak on the 93rd group, and she takes a solid hit with a 9, causing two more points of damage. The 93rd will attack with a minus 1. We add plus 2 for the target and plus 2 for the M30s for a final plus 3 modifier. The B-24s drop their bombs. All three bombs hit on modified rolls of 11, 12, and 8. Five points of damage are caused, and the airfield is effectively destroyed. Regardless, the 305th still has a bomb run to make. The groups fly through the flat garage. The roll is an 8, modified to 7 for B-17 durability, and one hit is scored against the group. The 305th will attack with a plus 4 modifier, plus 2 for the target and plus 2 for the M30s. The 305th drop their bombs into the Inferno. Three more points of damage are added. Two bombs hit on a modified 9 and 10, and one bomb misses on a modified 5. We gain four victory points for the destruction of the airfield. We move the bandit's disrupted counter ahead four spaces to five, and we can remove another Luftwaffe squadron from the map. Since there are no squadrons in the hex we are currently in, we may choose one from one of the surrounding hexes. Since hex nine has two squadrons, we'll remove one from there. We remove the destroyed airfield card and draw another one to replace it. Our victorious groups turn for home, and we draw an event card. We draw contrails. One additional bandit will be drawn for all future enemy encounters. We move our groups one hex closer to home, and we rotate all rearming German squadrons up one level, but there is not enough time for them to mount a second attack against us and our groups make it home safely. As hoped, 
Our successful bombing run has promoted both bomb groups and the 4th Fighter Group as well. The 93rd and 305th gained two experience points, and the 4th Fighter Group three points. Our two bomb groups are now average. The 4th Fighter Group is skilled, and we have a total of 19 victory points. Congratulations, men. For our second mission this week, we'll be attacking another oil target on our secondary targets list. We'll be going after Oil Refinery 2 in Lille, France, a short hop just across the channel. We're allowed a maximum of four bombers for this target. Since this particular target is not going to assist us in destroying it with a zero air-to-ground modifier, we're going to have to rely on the skills of our bomber groups, the 91st, the 301st, the 97th, and the 92nd. Of course, we'll help them out with the purchase of some quality bombs. We're going to use 14 of our 20 SO points to purchase 7 M44 bombs. Because of their weight, only two of these bombs can be carried by a B-17, but they have the potential to do lots of damage. We'll place two M44s apiece on the 91st, 301st, and 92nd, and we'll place one M44 and one incendiary bomb with the 97th, since they are the only group with a plus one air-to-ground modifier. We'll place our mission counters on the main map and our group counters on the tactical. We roll for the Luftwaffe response, and the roll is a 1, modified to 0, which is a poor response. Our B-17s form up over England, and we draw the event card. The card is Bomb Jettison and we must remove one bomb from our choice from the group. We'll choose the incendiary bomb, as it has the highest to hit value. Our bombers cross the coast and line up on the refinery. The 91st is up first, and they weather a flat barrage, one dice that hits on a seven or higher. And the roll is a four, modified to three for B-17 durability, a miss. It's all up to the dice rolls, as there are no modifiers for this bomb run. The 91st drops her bomb load. And it's a precision strike. Both bombs hit for maximum damage on an 8 and 9, a total of 6 hits. Next are the rookies of the 301st. The target throws up a flat barrage and the roll is a 1, modified to 0 for B-17 durability, and no damage is caused. The 301st will bomb with a minus 1 modifier. The 17s drop their bombs. And it's a weak strike. One bomb misses on a modified 3, and one hits on a modified 5 for 1 point of damage. The 97th is next, with her single M44 in tow. She flies through a flak barrage and comes through unscathed on a 5, modified to 4 for B-17 durability. The 97th will be bombing with a plus 1 modifier, and she lets loose her bomb. And it's a bullseye strike on a modified 10. The target suffers three more points of damage. Only two hits are needed to destroy the oil refinery, and it's up to our last group to finish it off. First, the 92nd flies through a flak barrage. It makes it through with no damage on a 6, modified to 5 for B-17 durability. The 92nd will have to make do with no modifiers on this attack run. She lines up and drops her bomb load. and it was never in doubt. 
both bombs hit for their maximum values, and six more points of damage are added to the target, for a final total of 16, more than enough to destroy the refinery and gain us three more victory points. We're now only two victory points away from fulfilling our secondary mission objective. Well done, men. Our groups turn for home, and we draw an event card. And the draw is experienced Luftwaffe bandits. As there will be no German attacks on our return, we ignore the event. And we land safely in England once again. We also move the calendar marker ahead to our final week of September. Our four B-17 groups all received two experience points for their successful mission and with no losses to flak. The 97th and 91st are close to promotion and we end the week with 22 victory points. Despite the heavy Luftwaffe presence, this week should be considered another great success. That does it for the second week of September. The Luftwaffe showed some teeth this week, and we took a few losses, but fortunately they were relatively light. Our groups continue to gain experience as they conduct more and more successful missions, and their skill is becoming more evident as time goes on. Next week, we'll attempt to finish off another oil target, which will fulfill the requirements of our current secondary mission, and, perhaps, target another aircraft factory. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk again soon.